Good day, friends, and welcome back to another Google Docs experience. Today, we are going to use a couple of cool add-ons to make sure that people know where we got our information in our Google Doc. So without any further ado, let's get cracking. First things first, I need you to get to Google, and I need you to launch a Google Doc. I need you to name that file Cool Things and then put your initials after it. I need you to put a title at the top where you label it, What Will You Print Today? I need you to pick a font that you think is fancy and I want you to pick size 30 or size 24. Once you've got that chosen, center it and then pick a cool color for the font so that it shows up. When you press enter, move down a line, take the next one and put it back to 12 and move it to the left so we can add our content. Press one more line and add the following. So type, Thingiverse is an amazing website that houses thousands of free 3D prints. Check out a few of my favorites. When you're done, make sure you go back to Arial and make sure you go back to black for that part of the text. Press enter two uh, spaces so that you've got an extra line between it. And we want to insert a table and we want that table to be three by three. When it comes in, we need to add the labels, description, URL, and image. We need to select those. You may pick a different font if you want. We want to put them in the center. And let's also highlight the cells and use the fill background color. And I always recommend either of the top two rows so that you don't make it too uh, dark and ruin the ability to read your image. Now we need to find some things, so let's go to a new tab and let's visit Thingiverse by typing Thingiverse.com. You can sign in because we do all have accounts, but you don't have to, that's an option. Then simply search for something that you think is incredible. I typed car in the search box and as I look down the list I see some pretty neat cars. I am going to choose this one right here. Because I think it's pretty neat. So click and visit the link and find its URL up top. I'm going to copy that URL and I'm going to paste it in the second box. I'm going to type Sweet Formula E race car, which I copied from right there. And now I'm going to get an image using the URL. So go back to your picture and right click on the image and choose the copy image address. This is really important that you choose that item. And then return to your project and do insert image and we want to use by URL. If we paste that image in, if the person has allowed it, it will show up and you can use it. If it does not work, you need to find a different image on that page or maybe pick a different item. When you've done this for your first item, you need to find a second item. If you are really excited and want to find another one, you can insert row below and find more items. When you've got at least two items added, then it's time to continue. We are going to wrap this up by going below the project and typing the following. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Thingiverse website. You'll notice that here I did website as one word both ways do work. We need to add a link to the website. So start a new tab and type Thingiverse. Make sure you get just the main Thingiverse link. Copy it. Let's go back to our project. Grab that whole word. So select it and choose the insert link. And let's add the link. So if we share our document with somebody, which we will at the end, they will be able to click the link and explore as well. Now it's time to do the add-on part of this project. Click add-ons and we need to get add-ons. We've got two that we want to add. The one look thesaurus. So type one look and then thesaurus. T-H-E-S-A-U-R-U-S. -E -S -S. We want to make sure that we have the one look thesaurus. And simply add it. It'll ask you what account and you want to use your school account. I'm using my kid Harmon and we need to click allow. 
it'll show up in our add-ons and I'll show you how to use it in a moment. The second thing though we're going to add by getting get add-ons is easy bib and just simply type easy and bib when it pops up we need to add it as well also to our school account if you already had those you'll just be able to go quicker on this chunk with those added let's use the thesaurus first let's find some synonyms for some words in our project so I want you to find a word like amazing select it and then click the word synonyms and look at the other cool words you can pick a good one that I think that it fits would be impressive and when you click it it immediately changes let's see if there's another word for houses mansion family theater put up business firm I don't see anything good for uh, where it stores it so I'm not going to change that what's another word for thousands a thousand yards still nothing really incredible for changing it let's see if there's another word for few that would be cool a couple of that's a good phrase check out a couple of my phrases let's see if it fixes the double a <laughs> no it doesn't but it does let me know that I've got it messed up and I'm just gonna backspace and delete that or I can do control Z and undo it and stay with few but that is how you use one look thesaurus change at least one word and then we'll move on to how to use easy bib and using easy bib works like this once again click easy bib and do manage bibliography and a bibliography is where you show where your sources were so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna switch to the website source because we're doing websites and we are gonna do at least three of these websites the first ones are the URLs that we went to our page for and we simply paste that in and we do search it looks for it and it found the formula e race car by petropixel and we are going to select it we are going to add that bibliography to the doc and you'll notice that it appears down below complete those steps again for your second one notice I searched found it selected it and I'm going to add that to my bibliography as well notice now when I look down they are both there and then the last one that you need to find is the YouTube movie that you're watching for this training now I haven't posted the movie yet so I can't post mine but I'm gonna pretend this is the same lesson and from the YouTube movie I'm gonna copy the URL from the top return to my document I'm gonna paste that URL in when I search it finds the movie note yours is gonna say mastering add-ons in Google Docs or something similar when you find the right one for the lesson you're doing today you are going to select it and add it to the bibliography as well let's make the project look a little more perfect by moving it down one space now real quickly I need you to share your cool project with a classmate I'm gonna share mine with Caden who's in one of my hours and I want to make sure that they can comment but I don't want them to be able to edit that's an important thing to be able to share and then hit send and then when you're done with that you can turn in a screenshot showing me your cool headings your cool things you found and pat yourself on the back for being able to use add-ons thanks for watching friends if you found this movie useful please click that like button if you haven't hit subscribe please click subscribe if you have a question or a comment please add it down below and if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me hl mod tech hit that notification bell have a great day friends